Here's the thing, obviously it's the car and it's the skill when you're driving, but presumably there's a lot of kind of a mental attitude or you know, mm -hmm. something like that. Do you remember having a moment when you realised, actually, I believe myself, I can win, I can do this? Uh, I think there were mo several stages of that, I think. Um, I mean, I, start, I drove a go-kart for the first time when I was five. I was on a holiday with my parents and um, they couldn't get me off this go-kart track. And I remember that for some reason that day and I picked up this braking and accelerating technique, which I used through my whole karting career. So I just had it from the beginning. So I, I realized uh, quite early on I had the ability, but I also looked at a lot of the, the other drivers who just work so hard on the training and And is that because you have a different brain? Like you, you... I guess, you, yeah. You, just, you, you know, the, the, the stimulus to brain is faster. You can, you make those... Maybe, yeah, I don't know. I think I was just born to do what I do. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, nice. I really, and what, really what's, but I think what's extraordinary about that is because, you know, it's, it's a big enough dream anyway when you're a kid to dream you want to do something. Yeah. But presumably you didn't see anyone who looked like you no. behind the wheel of any of those cars. Yeah. Which, did, uh, that must have made it harder, surely. Uh, I think it made, I think as a youngster, I was like eight years old, so I, I wasn't really too conscious of that. Um, naturally, when we arrived, um, I always relate my life to Cool Runnings. Has anyone seen that? Yeah. Cool Runnings. Yes, yeah. that's, like my, that's like my yeah. favorite movie. Oh, they've got a picture <laughs> yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah they'll quit with that. Um, <laughs> and I, the reason I select that is because, you know, they arrive at the top of the hill with this rusty old bobsled. And my first go kart, I mean, I grew up on my dad's couch. So my first go kart was a fifth hand uh, go kart from the Loot newspaper. And it was bent and rusty. And we arrived at this, at the first, at Rye House. And everyone kind of stopped, like in the movie, everyone stops and looks at them. Hmm. And that was the same for us. So I always remember that. But my dad just always says, do you talking on the track? So that's what I would go and do. And, you know, I think I won my first few races and I loved it so much. My dad was like, if you work hard at school, I'll do whatever I can to keep you racing. So he had like four jobs, putting for sale signs up, vending machines, anything that could pay him 15 pounds or 10 pounds to be able to fill the car up, buy new tires. And um, there were times along the way where I remember I'd come home from school and I'd be like, I'm ready to go. And he'd be like, I'm sorry, we don't have the money this weekend, but mm. ho hopefully by the next, next race, I'll have the money to keep us going. Yeah, yeah. And um, so you know, my dad's the real hero. I'm just, you know, kind of the one that's in the spotlight. But if my dad hadn't done the work he did, and if I didn't get signed when I was 13 by Ron Dennis, you know, I wouldn't be sitting in front of you today. I'd yeah. be doing something different. And have things changed? Are there young people coming up now and you think you no, actually... No, no, it's actually got a lot worse. You're kidding. Yeah, because I, I think my dad spent something like £20,000 and remortgaged the house, like, several times in the yeah. first years we had. But today, it's just got so expensive. So there are no work... Very few, if not no, uh, working-class families on their way up. Mm. It's all rich, you know, wealthy families. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So I do want to get involved in working with um, the FIA, which is the governing body, and, and Formula One, because then, I, yeah, they can do more to give back, I would say. Yeah. And also, it doesn't need to be as expensive as that. And I want to get it opened up, because as you look at football and, and tennis, there's, you know, there's grassroots. Yeah. Um, you know, I've, I've got a friend of mine who was nearly in Formula One, and he got leapfrogged by a wealthy kid, and then his opportunity was gone. So I do want to somehow get back to bring it back to basics. Yeah.